Hi guys, Mr. Waffles here. The opening couple of rounds in Beast From Beyond are not particularly easy because no zombies spawn in and instead you're left with only cryptids, as you can see in the gameplay here. So, what I figured I would do is give you guys my strategy for getting through these opening couple of rounds and getting rid of the cryptids by turning on the power. So, for the first round, as you've just seen, I basically sit in that corner by the door by that I've just bought and I just kill the cryptids as they come. Nothing particularly special about that particular strategy, but then here I do something that I think is really, really beneficial to you in your game, okay? Come to this part of the map and sit at the top of the ledge here. And what you're going to be able to do is get the drop on the cryptids before they can attack you because you can see them running in that lower area, but they need to traverse that terrain and jump from the bottom to the top in order to actually start hitting you. And in that time, you can just spray and spray and spray, or if you need to, you can reload your gun, etc., and really basically take out the entire horde before they've even managed to get you. Now, the next part of this strategy is a little bit of a numbers game, okay? It's round three here. In round three, on solo, you're going to get 16 cryptids, give or take, okay? So what I'm going to do is count in my head how many I'm killing, and I want to get about halfway through the round before I buy the door that is just next to me. Now, you need minimum 2,000 points in order to basically do this strategy, so don't buy the door until you've got 2k. If you still need 2k at this point, then wait a little bit longer, but once you've got two grand, as you saw, I just got two grand there, you're going to buy the door, kill any cryptids that are on the way, and then jump into this hole onto the green light. Tough Nuff's just there if you need it, but we're not worried about that right now. We're focusing on, first of all, taking out the cryptids, and secondly, picking up Neil's head. Be very careful when you grab it, because it's going to do an animation that's going to make it less easy for you to shoot, but grab the head, again, take out any cryptids on the way, and then run up through here by that door. That's why you needed 2,000 points, by the way, and then run and put Neil's head in the computer just here. Then, once you end the round, and by the way, at this point you should only have one or maybe two cryptids left in your game, because remember we timed it so that we had those 16 cryptid kills and we weren't ending the round before we put the head in the computer? If you've timed it correctly, you should be able to end the round pretty much straight away, and voila, power will be on, and the next round, zombies will spawn in as normal. If you put the head in on round four, you need to finish all of round four before you actually get zombie spawns on round five. So be very careful of ending round three because really you want zombies on round four. So that's how you turn on the power and get regular zombies to spawn in. Now that you've done that, you're ready to pack a punch. And I've got a separate guide for that, which is going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen just up there. So feel free to go through and watch that. In fact, it'll be on screen right now. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If it's been useful, drop a like. And by the way, this also does work in co-op, but what I recommend you do is split the spawns up a little bit so that you can kind of see your teammates and they can see you rather than all having your backs against the wall. In my opinion, that makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, let me know if this was helpful for you guys. Drop a like, like I've said, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.